The low pressure high volume valve is for oil and gas producers who want to extend production time through flowback and in erosive applications. The internal components can require maintenance in harsh environments to achieve peak performance. In this video, I'll show you how to do a complete repair. Here are the tools you'll need. Start by clamping the valve into a vise. Using a crescent wrench, remove the upper adjusting screw. The pivot may also come off at this point. If it doesn't, you can remove it by taking off the bonnet. Use a pick to remove and discard the o-ring. Use a 916 wrench or socket to remove the breather plug. Then remove the bonnet bolts. Take off the bonnet and remove the pivot if it's still there. Upper spring plate, spring, and lower spring plate. Use a pick if needed. Next, unthread the diaphragm plate from the upper stem. There are two flats on the upper stem where you can put a wrench to stabilize it. The diaphragm needs to be inspected for any abnormal wear like punctures or swelling. It is also good to inspect under the diaphragm nut. However, to remove this or to replace the diaphragm, you will need the Kimrate diaphragm nut removal tool. Put the tool onto the diaphragm nut and put the diaphragm plate into the vise. Unthread the nut. Now, you can inspect the diaphragm fully. If the diaphragm does not need replacement, replace the diaphragm nut. Grease the diaphragm and thread it onto the plate. Grease and install the diaphragm nut, making sure not to over tighten it and deform the diaphragm. Remove the coupling blocks with a quarter inch socket or nut driver. Use a half inch wrench to remove the four bolts from the yoke base. With the yoke off the body, empty the oil from your yoke into an appropriate container. Remove the upper stem, then flip the yoke. Use a 7 8 socket to remove the lower adjusting screw. If it doesn't come out easily, use a breaker bar. Remove and discard the snap ring, retainer, felt wiper, outside o-ring, and inside o-ring from the lower adjusting screw. Use a 916 wrench to remove the stuffing bonnet bolts. Remove the stuffing bonnet assembly and piston assembly from the valve body. You may need to use a flathead screwdriver to pry it off. Then remove the valve body and place the stuffing bonnet upside down in the vise. Use a large channel lock to unthread the cylinder from the stuffing bonnet. Remove and discard the o-ring from the bonnet. Use a pick to remove the spring and spring follower. The spring follower may be attached to the spring itself. Remove the stuffing bonnet assembly from the vise. Remove the snap ring, retainer, and felt wiper from the stuffing bonnet.
Use a screwdriver or pick to push the Teflon packing out. Remove the o-ring from the cylinder. Use a mallet to tap down on the piston assembly and remove it from the cylinder. Next, remove and discard the o-ring and the two backups from the piston. Now put the stem in the vise using the two flats. Use the shaft of a larger screwdriver or the side of a wrench, carefully removing the ratio plug. Remove and discard the seat. With the valve fully disassembled, we're ready for inspection and assembly. Inspect each of the components for damage, threats, scoring, or scratching that could result in a leaky path. Pay careful attention to the stem, cylinder, and ratio plug. If the removal seat is damaged, you will need to order a replacement and identify the required torque specs for that repair. You'll also need a specific Kimray tool to remove the seat, called the seat removal tool. Use a pick to clear the breather plug of any debris. Begin by putting the o-ring and Teflon backups on the piston. Put the piston stem in the vise and install the cylinder and removable seat. Apply Loctite to the threads on the stem and then thread the ratio plug. Tighten the ratio plug until the seat no longer spins. Remove the piston assembly from the vise. Put the new felt wiper, retainer, and snap ring into the top of the stuffing bonnet. Slide the four packing rings onto the Teflon packing sleeve. Then flip it over and put it in the vise. Apply grease in the stuffing bonnet and slide in the packing sleeve, flange and first. Then insert the packing follower and spring. Use an appropriate size tool to push the spring down so that you can engage the threads of the cylinder. Put the new o-ring on the stuffing bonnet and cylinder. Pushing down with your hand to engage the threads, thread the cylinder on about three rotations. Add grease to the Teflon backups and o-ring of the piston assembly. Use a mallet to slowly tap the piston assembly into the cylinder. Use a large channel lock to firmly tighten. Remove the stuff and bonnet from the vise and replace it with the valve body. Grease both o-rings on the stuffing bonnet assembly. Use a mallet to tap the stuffing bonnet into the valve body. 
Line up the bolt holes, also making sure that the top work holes face the correct direction. Hand start the bolts and tighten them in a star pattern. Install the felt wiper, retainer, and snap ring into the lower adjusting screw. Attach the outer o-ring. Then install the inner o-ring. And apply grease to both. Install the adjusting screw into the yoke with a 7 8 socket. Then grease and install the stem. Be careful not to damage the inner o-ring. Attach the yoke by tightening the four bolts into the stuffing bonnet. Add oil to the bolt enough to a minimum cover the lower adjusting screw. Next, apply Loctite to the stem threads. Thread the diaphragm assembly onto the stem. Use an adjustable wrench to hold the flats on the stem while you thread the diaphragm assembly until it comes to a stop. Grease the inside of the diaphragm plate. Add the lower spring plate. Spring and upper spring plate and then grease the top. Install the bonnet aligning the communication holes on top and bottom. Thread the bolts onto the bonnet and tighten using a star pattern. Install the o-ring on the upper adjusting screw, then add grease to the o-ring and top of the screw. Place the pivot onto the top of the adjusting screw using the grease to hold it in place. Make sure that the spring plate is aligned and install the adjusting screw into the top of the bonnet with a crescent or 7 8 socket. Now install the breather plug. Lastly, attach the coupling blocks with a quarter inch socket or nut driver. That completes our repair. For testing and calibration, consult your local Kimray repair shop. For any other questions, contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor.